what's the difference between you, between your life and that of your victims? Do you think that your life matters more than that of another being? Think you that your life is more important, more special, more holy than that of a pig or a cow or a turkey? And why? Can you rationalize that? Without bias, without propaganda, we're doing human for the ecosystem. Only put shit around everywhere. Enslave animals and force them, impregnate them, and turn them into unwanted objects. And create ocean dead zones by that means. Destroy the planet by create islands of plastic in the sea with the size of Europe. Kill any year the most biggest holocaust ever created on this planet. Around 60 billion animals and far more in the sea. An ocean destruction, destruction weapons. Weapons of with ocean destruction map weapons of mass destruction. Fishing gear. Long liners. That take anything with them and destroy all the webs of the sea. Destroy the whole ocean web. Take all the big predatory fish out of the sea, like sharks, bluefin tuna. And also uh, many herbivore fi large fish are being responsible for the ecosystem to wear properly. We be so callous as a human species, thinking that we do can do anything and that we can destroy anything so hard, so callous, so fatless. So full of mass. <laughs> Peace begins on the dinner table. By what you eat on a daily basis. You don't can choose and pick which kind of discrimination you like or not. That's pure devil play. Say that you've been against racism, but say that you've been for speciesism. Or that you say you've been against racism and you've been for sexism. You've been kind around the table, or you've been not. Don't play games. I don't like your games. Animals, being sensuous creatures, they can pain, can suffer. Can feel pain, can suffer. They have a nervous system. When the and that's the reason that I can feel pain in contrary with plants. I have no central nervous system. I have no brain. I have only some waves. Maybe. But I cannot feel pain.
all animals are simple disenfranchised groups in search of the one thing, and they live in living the moment. The circle of life is nothing more than an arbitrary story, made up by the oppressors. We have made it up. A lot, you know, get that's an easy kill. The zebra that they try to escape. Animals don't choose to be to go to die if they're being attacked. In contrary with popular dogma, all animals cherish their life. All sick life don't matter. But when you've been a victim, when I say to you, Elvis, turn your in one commodity, take a look at all the difference from what angle. And that's what we ask you. Can you justify it? When you been a victim? That's what um, humane has to be. If you're not one that somebody do something to you, then you also shall not have to do it to innocent living beings. Like pigs, like turkeys, like um, dogs or cats, like children. Just use just the golden rule. Since nobody wants to be treated like cow and pig or a turkey on this planet, even in the most humane settings, most of the time, humane factory farm settings, no, as a so you can easily see that the beam all just social marketing bullshit. Or how about I say human shit? Because I find it so annoying that humans always to want to disempower other species. And that there are also anthropomorphs anthropomorph animals to make them more dirty and give them all their dirty ex ex all their dirty uh, characteristics but when they do something kind the, it is also the first first uh, dirty victimizer mindset to say that it being just instincts <laughs> Can it be that you'll be full of shit? Oh, humanity. That you mean like your life, yourself, your whole life. But you still have nothing to know it. That's of the thing where you possess the most stuff. And that's of the follies of you. And then, with the crowds of savage, you claim that you have to find the answers of anything. And you claim that you have to find the answers of things when a normal human mind is not capable of understanding. Like one man, it's dropped on um, flowers of a tree and expects 
to let the flowers be beautiful after it. Even they are cannot stay beautiful on, from the tree because they get not the right sections. Awaken the night from your so called horrific dreams and live just by the golden moon and live by the basis of nature, the three basic laws of ecology. First, that the strength of an ecosystem is there because of the diversity in species. Diversity of species. Second, that the at all species being dependent on each other, and that's without others we don't can survive. That we don't, and the last, you don't take more than you need. Awake. I live in harmony instead of disharmony. The world give enough for anybody's needs, but not enough for anybody's greed. When darkness and light become one, the reality split up and the truth become invisible. Kindness, more content, is for any living being worse for nothing. For all innocent beings or for no. If you want to still to hold rights to give to violent terrorists like that Donald Fucked tart eco terrorist Trump. I will not even understand the difference between alien and petroleum. Humans are nothing worse for the ecosystem to Earth. Without pollinators, we don't can feed ourselves like bees and butterflies. Without phytoplankton, one tiny marine species, we don't can breed on this Earth because they are being responsible for around 70% of all our oxygen, and they are being decreased in the last. 40 years with 40% on the last um, 60 years with 40% with so awaken humanity awaken from your so called horrific dreams Or can you ask for something? Ask mercy when you're not willing to give it. It's an inconsistency. I would not will accept inconsistency or injustice, even if it comes from the so called law of humans. Men's law. I respect only the unchangeable laws of Terra. Of Gaia to Earth.